Hello friends and welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we are going to learn how to view and edit data in a form in Microsoft Access 2016. Now, whenever I open Microsoft Access, whenever I open a form under the view tab, you can see three views. Now, what are these three views? A form view, a design view and a layout view. Now, what are these different uh, views? We'll try to understand. Now, a form view is used whenever I want to view a particular form. So, let's say that I'm going to enter a record into a database. I will always go to the form view. It will help me to record or it will help me to enter a record into a database. But whenever I want to edit this form or whenever I want to change the layout of this form, I will go to design view or I will go to the layout view. Now, what is the difference between two? Now, design view will help me to enter a particular button or particular function to the form. Now, what is layout view then? Now, layout view will help me to change the layout of my form. Let's say that I want to add a page footer, I want to add a date and time to my particular form. At that time, I will help I will take the help of layout view. Now we will have a better understanding of all this view in our practical approach. In this video, we are going to view and edit the data using the form view. All right, so let's go and start. Now out here in navigation pane, we have a predefined customer form, right? As you can see, if I double click, a form has opened out here. Now in this form, I can view any data or I can view any entry. Let's say for, for an instance that an employee wants to edit a particular entry. So in order to do that, he has to go to the search menu and that I have given a drop down menu. We learned how to create a drop down using the validation rule. All right. So now let's say that I want to edit a data for Smith. So I'll simply select Smith. The moment I click on Smith, uh, I have the record ready with me. I have his first name, the last name and the rest of the details. All right. So if I want to change any kind of uh, details of this particular person, I will simply go there. Let's say I want to add one more thing, St. George Avenue. I want to add the street name as well. So I say uh, California Street or let's say Pine Street. And I'll just simply make the changes accordingly. Uh, I have the city. I can do the changes for the state as well. Now, as you can see, I have given a validation rule out here that I cannot change it. Only the two states can be entered. That is uh, two letters can be entered. Entered that is NC. If I try to put anything else, it will not take it. It is saying that it must be US state and it should be two letter postal code only. So, out there, I have already described it was NC. So, it will accept NC. The zip code, if I wish to change it, let's say I want to change the phone number, I can simply change the phone number by just keep giving a backspace. I say 1234 and I just simply hit done. Okay, after this, if you want to save this particular record, I will simply go to the records under the home tab and I will simply click on save. The moment I click on save, this record gets saved and now this can be reflected in our orders list as well all right this is my orders i'm sorry uh, if i go to the customer database in this customer database you can see the changes out here as well in this way i can simply view any record i can simply edit any record by just clicking the record which i want to select I can type it or I can simply select it, right? So in this way, I can view and edit a data. Now, this is a simplest way. Now, let's try to see the complex way of editing and viewing a data. Now, out here in the navigation pane, I have some others form as well. So I'll move to the order forms. As you can see on my screen, I have the order forms. Out here, I can see there is many options. We have created a different form altogether. Now in this, let's say that a particular customer is there and I want to create a new order for him. All right. So in order to do that, I will simply select a new order. So everything goes blank. Now I can select a customer from the database that we have. Make sure that the particular customer which you want to make entry, it should be there in the list only then only it will accept a record. All right. So let's say I will select Beckham. So I have this record for uh, customer as name as Beckham, the order number it has picked up automatically so out here. I can select a pickup date. Let's say if I click on this icon, it is helping me to select any particular date. I say pick this particular date. Like I, if I wish to, I can add some note will be pick, pick up done by customer pick up done by customer that is the note which we added if you have want to I have this checkbox for a yes or no marks this is a pre-order if you select this if you can unselect 
whether it's paid or not paid it is a yes or no checkbox right so i say it's a paid item all right now i can add an item to this now if you see if there are some pro category product quantity unit and rest of the details if i select on this add uh, add item button and another window now this kind of uh, window is known as sub forms now this is my form and this is a sub form we'll learn how to create sub forms in our later videos but as of now uh, this is how it is done you can simply click on add item it will open a new window which is a sub form and it will give me that this is my order number 66 i say he wants to order let's say a black forest that is single so i simply select this one say quantity three he wants to order three cakes like this just save and close the moment i click on save and close it has already picked up this order giving me the subtotal as well along with it if i wish to add more item i'll again do that as many as i want i say again he has also ordered a one cheesecake one single quantity i simply just save and close now now this particular entry is automatically directed to the orders table right so it will get automatically refreshed in my orders table or i can simply if it doesn't get added i can simply go to this refresh all and i simply click on refresh the moment i click on refresh this order will be added in our orders database now if you want to see why we use form instead of using uh, the normal database view now let me show it to you quickly if i go on this tables and i say orders item the moment i click on this order item it does not give me a clarity that what is this order id and what is this menu id i'm not getting a clarity on this in order to get a better clarity or a detailed view of this i will always move to the custom uh, the form view in which i have the entire uh, detail of that customer with his particular order along with it in this way, I can view and edit data in forms in Microsoft Access 2016.